Hi everyone, it's Narelle here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install system fonts to your iPad or iPhone. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have downloaded and installed the AnyFont app. And to do that you go to the App Store and the app that you're looking for is this one here called AnyFont. So once you've installed that app, you need to go to the site that contains the font that you want to download. So I'm using Safari, so I'm going to be tapping there, and that's going to take me into my Safari browser. So what I'm going to do is go to a site called fontbundles.net, and then I'm going to navigate to their free fonts section and download their current free font of the week. So I'll scroll down here and you'll see that one here. And that's the first one here that says Ostina, free font of the week. And that's the one I'm going to be using. Now they do have other fonts and they're available for a, a much longer time than the week. So go through and make sure you check out some of those other fonts. So next I'm going to tap on that Ostina image. And that's going to bring me to this page here. So if I scroll up, you can see that I've got a download for free button and that's what I'll be using to download this font. Now some fonts uh, on this site work a slightly different way. So for example, if I was downloading this font here from their site called Shrikandi, um, if I scroll down there, you'll see that to get this font, I need to go and follow their Twitter page. So um, what I would do is I would click on that blue follow us button that would take me into Twitter at which point I would follow their their page and then I'd come back here and then what I need to do next is you, and it's a very faint button so it's very hard to see and a lot of people actually miss it is this X here in the top right hand corner of this box what you would do is that X would become available for you to click on and you would click on that and that would then activate the download button. So that follow us button would change it into a download for free. And then you would go on there and follow the instructions for any other, you know, the font that I'm about to show you. So let's go back to that page there. So we're going to click on download for free, which brings us to this page here. Now, if you haven't ever used the AnyFont app before, you may not see this open in AnyFont, but once you have used AnyFont, that option will be available. So if you don't have that, you will have this option here, which is more. So that's the one that we would tap on, and then you would scroll over and select import with AnyFont. So let's click on that one. And that's going to bring us to this page here, which is the AnyFont app. Now it's going to give us a list of fonts that we can download to our iPad. And the one that I'm using is this one at the top here called Ostina. So I'm going to tap on that one, which brings up this window here. If I want to preview the font so I can have a look at what it, exactly what it's going to look like, I can go up to the top here and tap on preview. It gives you an idea of what the letters in that font look like. So now I press close to bring me back to here. Now as it says at the top here, we tap on the icon to install it. Now what we're going to be installing is, a, is an OTF font. Now OTF and TTF font will both work. But if you have the choice when you're using the iPad, go for the OTF font. So that's what we're going to do here. So we'll tap on that one. It's going to create a profile. Now in iPad speak, a profile is a font. So that's why it says install profile, not install font. So at this page, we are going to go to the top here and we're going to tap install. And then we're going to give it um, consent to install that font. So we press next. We're going to press install at this point, And then again, the red install button. So that one has now been installed to the iPad. So we can go up to done. 
it's going to bring us to here where we click open and that's going to take us back to the AnyFont page or the AnyFont app. So if there's any other fonts that you want to download, you'd go through that exact same step for each one. Um, I'm done here at the moment. So up in the top left hand corner of the site here, you'll see um, a little left facing arrow next to the word Safari. So we're going to tap on that and that's going to take us back to um, this page here. Now we have some extra um, tabs that we don't need anymore. So we'll go up to those and we'll tap on the X beside those tabs and that brings us back to the font bundles website. So as I said, if there's more, um, paid, more fonts that you want to download, just go back to those um, have a hunt through for the ones that you want and start downloading and installing and you'll do it exactly the same way as what I just showed you. Now once you've downloaded those fonts they're ready to be used in the Design Space app on your iPad or iPhone um, but at some point you may decide that you want to delete some of these fonts so I'm going to show you how to do that. So to do that you go back to your home screen and you're going to go into settings. Now in the general section here you're going to go down to this one here that says profiles. So remember that profiles is the same as fonts so we're going to tap on profiles and that brings you up the list of fonts that are installed on your iPad. So at this point you click on the one that you want to uninstall. So for example, say I wanted to uninstall this one here called Path Out Bold. I would go to that one. I would then tap on Delete Profile. And at that point, if I'm sure that I want to delete it, I, will, I would press that red Delete button. Now, once I delete that button, I delete that font rather, it will no longer be available on any um, apps in your iPad. So it won't, you won't be able to use that anymore in the Design Space app. So just remember, once you've deleted it, if you ever want to go and use that again, you'll have to go and reinstall it. So hopefully that was helpful. In an, another video, I'm going to be showing you how to use these fonts in the Design Space app on your iPad. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.